Hey guys, just before the video starts, I'll also put this at the end of the video, but I will be doing a charity live stream on whatever this date here is. So it will be for Macmillan Cancer Support. It will be a 24 hour live stream for charity and you can donate. I'll put a link here and also in the description of the video and in the comments. So please donate 24 hours of gaming for a great cause. So um, yeah, let's get into the video. Oh, Ooh, don't know if I've really fit in frame properly here. Let's just do a little spin -aroo. So yeah, hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to Tom Aldi. So today's video, I'm going to be testing the cheapest mouse available currently on Amazon. So I ordered this about a month ago now, I think. It took quite a while to get it. It arrived two days ago. So here it is. There's my address. Yeah, if any of you want to dox me, but this is the packaging that came in. It's just, um, <laughs> open it and see. So get rid of that. And there, this came like this. Quite a bit battered. But, um... Yeah, um, let's get into this. Hello down there guys, so I'm just on Amazon quickly just to find out exactly how much I paid for this because I've actually forgotten, surprisingly not. So um, yeah, let's just have a quick look. I forgot to turn on OBS because apparently I'm a bit of a special person. Mm. Oh, and now OBS is just recording both my webcams, so turn them off, I want display, and okay, start recording. There we go. So here's the mouse I ordered. Um, it cost me a total of... I can't even see how much I paid for it. Uh, £3.92. And it took me quite a while to get here. It took it quite a while to get here. So um, it's called the 3200 DPI LED optical free button 3D USB wide gaming mouse. Game Mouse Pro. Gamer computer mice for all PC adjustable USB wired gaming mouse black. So yeah, I'm not even sure what one it is. There's quite a few on here. Um, so yeah, oh, it's the X2 by looking at the packaging, I think. So yeah, let's have a detailed look at it, I guess. Okay, so I'm just gonna open the box. I You probably saw the packaging, it was damaged, it came like this. Eh, it's not bad packaging, it just obviously doesn't qualify. Uh, yeah, it's past time. I didn't realise how bad the English on the box of his mouse was, so let's just have a look at that quickly before we get back into the rest of the video. So, there it is. So, its frame rate is 3000, whatever the fuck that means <laughs> as well. Love this. Has it got any other English instructions? Wow. Insert a ghost front end using scorpion claw type structure. Great increase in the key click area. Best in five meaning click. The service life will treat threaten. Has superior click feeling. Game chip optimized machinery perimeter control and adjustment system. It can be transferred different mouse perimeters without any auxiliary tools. The optimized weight design is suitable to swiftly displacement in medium and long distance. <laughs> this is just all gibberish. The surface is what's large scale bionic skin process, which has greatly upgraded the comfort degree of overall holding contact. A hand tooth tough. Of keys is better. The front end design. Well, I have no idea what this is supposed to say. Good try, though, Chinese people. Good try. Right, so let's open the mouse for the first time. The wire doesn't feel too bad. Let's see, nothing else in there. No instruction manual or anything. Little bag on it. And there's the actual mouse. Wow. So it's two buttons or three buttons, I guess, like it said. Them two. This feels really light and really cheap. Um, yeah, so who gets testing some games, I guess. So I'm not really sure how well it's going to work, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug it in and have a go at some games. So you can't see my face until I start recording my thing, but first let's just plug it in for the first time and see what kind of colours we get on it, and then I'll just talk a bit more about the build quality and stuff. Ooh, so it's red. Oh, it's RGB. It's actually quite nice RGB effects for this price. So, things I'm going to talk about. Let's just talk about the mouse a bit first. So, it is extremely light. Just turn off my main mouse. So, it's extremely light. Um, it travels quite fast, um, which is nice. Uh, yeah, so 
I'm just looking at my webcam now. Ooh, so I have like three cameras. <laughs> just close Amazon and try some games. So yeah, it's extremely light. Um, the DPI feels okay, I guess. It doesn't feel too high or overly sensitive, but because it's such a light mouse, that is going to probably affect my performance a bit. It feels quite nice in the hand, to be honest. It, like, it's dirty enough for the price. Like, I'm squeezing it quite hard here. Um, and it's not really moving or anything. Like, it's actually relatively well built. Um, just very, very light. And the scroll wheel, we're going to find out that we're for something game soon enough, I guess. So let's get my headset on. Ooh. Skadoosh. And yeah, let's just try some games. Um, it's really weird just recording my hand. Normally don't record my hand, so I'll play some Overwatch. Jump to one or two games of that. And yeah. Um, let's just test how it is. So I'm going to turn off this camera now. And mainly go to the game. Because I don't want to waste games of just my camera. So yeah, the RGB is not bad either. Okay, I'm not sure if you can see this, but like just moving the mouse around, it feels very janky, if that makes sense. It feels very janky, like the movement of the um, thingy. Just, I'm not really a pro. I'm used to side buttons, it's weird. It's not got any side buttons, but it co did cost like £2. Yeah, I normally have Overwatch um, commands done to my side button. Oh, that's really weird. Uh, shield is that one. Okay, I'm used. To, I had to get used to using the keyboard to do stuff in. So it's not bad. It's just I have to get used to not having side buttons first. I might play a different game in a minute without side buttons. Like I keep going to press. Um, I keep going to press the side buttons, which don't exist. Ooh, that's quite zoomed in. So I think I've used this mouse enough to give it a review. Um, sorry. What's happening there? Got it. So pretty much, um, I'm going to do a little free and stuff here. So I played a game of Overwatch. I was going to play some other games, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, this thing's garbage. Well, not garbage. If you really are on a budget, it won't be too bad. But the build quality, let's start with that, isn't too bad. It feels quite sturdy. Like I'm squeezing quite hard now, and it's not like bending or anything. Um, but that's about the only good thing it's got. Oh, the RGB is not bad either. I guess it's quite nice looking, and it's quite. It's um, also amplified dexterous, however you say it. So I could use both hands if I wanted to, which is also another plus. But um, yeah, scroll wheel is completely out of garbage. The button clicks are very, um, not very nice. Um, the, um, like, whilst moving it around, I guess the sensitivity really does not feel great. It feels um, like they skipped. It feels like maybe the, how do I explain it? It doesn't really smooth, so it feels like maybe it only reads the input every couple of thousand <laughs> like DPIs, if that makes sense. So like I move it like an inch. If it was there should have been like a thousand reads there, but I only felt like there was maybe like two hundred reads. If that makes sense. I don't know if it does, I don't know really a huge amount about that kind of technical side of things. But um yeah, it, it's not the best. But once again, you probably get what you pay for. It cost me three pounds ninety seven, I think it was. So, yeah, um, cheapest gaming mouse on Amazon, would I recommend it? No, do not buy this. <laughs> um, yeah, so anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next week. Darts, also put this at the end of the video, but I will be doing a charity live stream on whatever this date here is. So it will be for Macmillan Cancer Support. It will be a 24 hour live stream for charity and you can donate. I'll put a link here and also in the description of the video and in the comments. So please donate 24 hours of gaming for a great cause.